All right, class. Today, we're gonna learn about the cross-cut saw. We're rebranding this. The track saw is gonna be the fez tool from now on. This is the cross-cut saw. And the cross-cut saw is here to help you make cuts across the grain. All right, so remember the grain are the lines that run this way. So we're gonna be cutting across the grain, which is a perpendicular cut to the edge. The <clears throat> this will make our board shorter in length and it makes square cuts, right? So as you've maybe studied in geometry, this is a square or right angle. So that's what we're doing. We're creating a square cut, cutting across the grain, and this is what the cross cut saw does, okay? So the important parts of this tool are the handle, okay? The safety, which is this button here on the top. The trigger, which is underneath right here. And this is all connected to a vacuum. So you wanna make sure that the vacuum is always connected while you're running this machine. This tool is set up to go down. So just like on the Fez tool, which you'll learn about, the Fez tool tracks off, this tool presses down and then slides and cuts through your material. Okay? Please don't mess with any of the other parts of this. You only need to touch the handle and the safety. Another important part of the tool is the stop. This here has a knob that loosens, and then there's a red line right here on the plastic that allows you to set your measurement. So once you get the red line over the measurement you want, go ahead and spin that knob to tighten it down. So this stop allows you to get the measurement that you want every time. After you get the stop locked, go ahead and bring your material over and set it tight against the stop and the pen. Which are the safety clamps. These keep your hands from having to do any of the work. The board does not extend past here, so you only need to use one. If the board is long enough to catch both of these, please use both clamps. <clears throat> Important things to remember while using this tool, make sure your material is tied against the fence and against the stop, okay? Stop and fence. Tied against the stop allows for your cut to be the right length, Tied against the fence allows for your material to be square. Make sure that you have a straight edge against this fence. Next thing I want to draw your attention to is this vacuum. If the tool's not turning on, it probably means that the vacuum is not turned to the left as shown in this picture. That knob should be all the way to the left. That will give you power to your tool and it'll turn the vacuum on right as you turn on the tool. While operating this tool, you must have two hands on the tool at all times. One here and one here, okay? Before you press forward, you will wanna turn the machine on. Once the machine is on, you will lower the tool. Notice I went slowly through the piece. Once I was done, I still kept the machine down. I did not let it release until the saw had come to a complete stop. Once the saw comes to a complete stop, you may drag this back so it's ready for the next person. Release the clamp with two hands and pull out your piece that is now cut to length. Make sure you put the scrap where the scrap belongs, into the scrap bin if it's this big. Okay. Now everything's clear, ready for the next person. And you have your piece. A nice cross cut against the grain, cutting to length. It makes it shorter. 
There is the crosscut saw. Some safety elements that you want to consider while using this saw. Please never put your fingers underneath the track except to clear out the scraps at the end. You should always have two hands on the top of the saw. Make sure your material is always clamped down by these clamps. If it's not clamped down, the rotation of the saw will kick that material out and it could ricochet and hit back to you. So make sure you use your clamps. Two hands on top. Always let the saw down before you push forward. And progress slowly through your cut. Remember to keep your hands on the saw until it comes to a complete stop. Then you can release, roll back, voila, cut is done. Real quickly class, I need to explain to you that there are some minor differences between the blue crosscut saw and the green one. The green saw, you will not need to press down. It's already preset at a depth. You will need to always have it all the way back, just like the blue saw. And with this one, you will similarly have to do safety and trigger and have two hands on the saw. Okay? <clears throat> on this one, it is incredibly important that you make sure not to load your material or try and make a cut until the saw is all the way back. If you have the saw forward and then load your material, you may not get the saw back because the blade is already down. So make sure the saw is all the way back before you load your material. 